And I have one piece of advice for you. Get to know me! Girl, it's the truth. I want to get to know you. Let's get to know some of our Melbourne Rebels players. Let's play a little game. Come we on like now. How well do you know your teammate? We've got Bonne Fama Sili here and uh, Jordan Wallace. Got to say it properly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it, mate. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Now, uh, we'll start off with uh, Jordi. you got to guess um, where Bonne's hometown is. Mm. Where's Bonne from? Where's his hometown? Uh, it's from Dandenong, 30 Ooh. South. Dandenong. I'll, I'll give him that. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. He's Keys, bro. Keys, oh, he lives in Keys no, right no, now. No, no, no. Uh, I'll give him that because I. Grew up there before. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of, you know. But let, let's ask you, wh- really where did he go to after Dendong? Keysboro. No. No, we won't give it to him. We won't oh. give it to him. Limbrook. Limbrook. The other one. Um. Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot of technicalities here. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> Chapel Street. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's after hours. Oh. Oh. Uh, the answer that he wrote here, Sione, was Melbourne Lyndhurst. Oh, oh it's close. Yeah, Limbrook, close. Lyndhurst. Yeah, yeah. Say, say, yeah. Say, say, Half a point? Half a point? Yeah, half a point. Half 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 half. Half. Oh, okay. No point, no Tough point. Here, no point. All right. Uh, talent outside of rugby. What's his talent outside of rugby? Um, Bonnie used to be a good dancer growing oh. up in a dance crew. Oh. I'll send you guys a video. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. He's famous, Foggy Boy. What up? Is he yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what kind of dance? Click on the link. Uh, <laughs> was he a crumpa? Or? Crumpa. Oh. This used to be in the dance crew called Looney Tunes. <laughs> Y'all for whatever minds on fitness. I had to take a piss. Y'all be my dog rapper. Straight pitch. Straight rib a bitch. Was he actually? Yeah, bro. Brotherhood. Oh, oh wow, wow, man. man. I was in the street sales. Silly. Last chance, mate. <laughs> well, did did he get it, it right? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Dancing. Okay, dancing. His talent outside of rugby is golf. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go with the drum <laughs> in once. Like, the drum oh, oh, once. Oh, oh, it's like a hood. It's like a hood. Got that swing, mate. All right. Yeah, go fuck. Uh, so you got none from two. At yeah. the moment, let's bring it back. Let's bring yeah, it back. Yeah. Come on now. What's your What's his favorite food? What does he like to eat? Um, or oh, likes to eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's as, true, as you can see. Yeah. Um, ah, what in was particular, he, what's one thing he always he, every, if we go out for feed, it's always it's a parma. Did you say parma? Parmi, parma, parma. Mate, yeah, but it's not my favorite, mate. Oh, um. Any clues, us? Because <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's so broad. It's, it's, the, 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 so broad. It's from the islands. Oh, um, his mum makes a mean supper suey on the oka. Close enough. Bro, close. Bolo sami. Tell him what it is, boss. Sorry. Tell him it's fillet mocking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You were never getting that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's a point system, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, well, no, no one's ever gotten none out of four. Oh, so oh, you're in the hot yeah. seat now. Nah, but you got this one. I have faith in you. <laughs> What's Bonnie's pet hate? And don't say Buscat. Chico. Sorry. Um sorry. Bonnie's pet hate is rude people. Mate. Sorry. What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh. One more chance. Bad drivers. Oh. oh. Did I get it? Yeah. yeah. We'll give you that. We'll give you that. Yeah. 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 We'll give you that. The answer was traffic, but yeah, yeah. because of bad yeah. drivers, yeah. 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 traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Bad drivers, All right, Bonnie, come on down. All right, here we go. What do you think, or what is Jordan's hometown? Hometown. So, uh, Jordy's from Wellington, Strathmore 44. Sorry. Oh. Is that true? <laughs> we had a uh, hometown, Burn City. Mate, were you born in Burn City? <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, that's, oh. I didn't read the Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, come on, well, man. One, he didn't read it right. It's two nah, words. He hometown, he got it right. question he got it. mark. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Okay. Nah, he, he got, got it right, right yeah, technically, yeah. but it's not written down yeah, here. Yeah, okay. so nah. nah, good. Nah. Right. Is, is that still that's a point, Bart? No, no. Okay, nah, sweet, nah. sweet, sweet. All right. What is Jordan's talent outside of rugby? Talent. Mm. <laughs> not much of a you know variety here so um I want to go I want 
gonna I'm gonna try golf. Oof. Ding ding ding. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice. One, one. We're bringing it back. Yeah, Redemption here. Is. Redemption here. All right, here we go. What is his favorite food? His favorite food. This guy's a clean guy. He's, he's probably got his diet down to the T. So I want to go something like fish or something like that. It's close, eh? Close enough. Yeah, close enough. Uh, it's sushi. Oh, oh. is that half a point? Uh, no, no. Ah, okay. no. We're we're still got one. He's still got one. He's still got one. He's still got one. All right. And what is his pet hate? Um. Probably people that. He always tells me my phone's too loud when I'm on the phone. So. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. 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 That's so kind of kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. It's sort of in the yeah. rude people. Yeah. 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 Rude people. Yeah. yeah. Right. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll give him we'll yeah, 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 yeah. two. Right, so well done, boys. Two out of four. Yeah. Well done, well done. So, uh, Catch up after the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what we've learned is you don't know each other that well. <laughs> but um, we'll jump into your story, boys. A uh, quick little, um, we'll get to know, show, show the viewers, uh, our 50 viewers. Um, get to know you, boys. So, hometown uh, in Melbourne? Yeah, so obviously my hometown, Melbourne. Um, was brought up in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, yep. um, in the way from Down Down Down. Yeah. Um, so currently living in Lindhurst. So yeah, that's me. And yourself, mate. Oh uh, yeah. No, I was born in Wellington, um, Strathmore, 44. Um, moved to Australia when I was 12. Oh. Um, so yeah, mum and dad made the big move here. Um, moved uh, out to South Morang and now residing in Mernda. So like 10 minutes, not too far. So. Yeah, nice. Yeah, pretty much Burn City now, eh? And uh, what's your local club? Who are you affiliate, affiliated with? Don't say West. Uh, I mean, in Melbourne. West, <laughs> <laughs> West Gold. Um, yeah, I'm with Moorabbin Rugby Club. Yeah. Um, they're down southeast suburbs as well, along the beaches there, so you can Dang. probably call me Northern Beaches. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the golf comes in. Uh, yeah, 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 it's about yeah, a 20-minute yeah. drive. <laughs> <laughs> so now nah, yeah i played um played for a club out uh in the north court eltham yeah yep. um and then like my last year i played for northern panthers so um panthers. played a lot yeah last year with robbie and that yeah so that was cool oh, and then, mate. Yeah. And then nice. uh i played oh because they don't have like a senior team like yeah, that yeah. plays um in the top top concert Moved to Melbourne University just down the road from yeah. here, so yeah. Nice. So he's Good. that guy that just jumps from clubs. Like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. he's got that's three like, clubs in here. Yeah, we'll both oh, like so, that. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. 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 Choo, that's choo, all right. Choo. That's all right. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with that. Eh? <laughs> but uh, when you guys were little kids, uh, what was was it always wanting to be a rugby player, or what other aspirations did you have? Yeah, I mean, no. Nah, I think I think for me it was like like I grew up with rugby, eh? So yeah, um, like my older brothers uh, played footy. My old man played footy. Um, I actually picked up the ball and played uh, at a club called Ori's when I was two years old. Oh, yeah. Um, so I think for me, like, it's just being part of my life. Yeah. Um, Saturdays would be go to my games at, like, eight and go to my older brother's games at college and then finish up with the old man's game in the Arvo, then go to the club rooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He would have a few beers and we'd play around with the kids and stuff like that, so... Yeah, have a few beers too. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Nah, I think rugby has like always been a part of my life. Eh? So yeah. I think from a yeah. young age, I always knew that, you know, God willing that I would have the good enough to achieve the dream yeah, and yeah. play professional. Yeah. So that nah, was good. And uh, Bonner, you're from Melbourne. I grew up in Melbourne as well. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, all I played was AFL and I didn't even know what rugby was. Mm -hmm. How did you get into rugby? Were you, did you play AFL as a young kid? Because we got some, we saw some photos, but... <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm actually opposite to Jordy. I, I probably picked up um, rugby probably when I was 13. Okay, yeah. I, I picked up my first time playing footy was at Moorabbin, so joined at under 12s, or under 13, sorry. Um, yeah. But initially, my first time like I got into rugby was at church. Oh, yeah. So, like, um, just playing in the backyard with the church boys, and then, you know, obviously, all the older boys probably make you run it straight, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just probably just listen to them. And, <laughs> <run it straight. laughs> um, and then the um, Aussie Rules side, um, yeah, that probably came into play when I was um, when I was playing Union um, at Moorabbin. I played on the Saturday, and then I had like a few Albanian mates who I was real close to, and 
they actually um, told me you know, should come play down at yeah, um, yeah. Endeavour Hills Eagles, which was um, my Aussie rules side. And then, uh, yeah, just started picking up the, AF, the sharing ball from there, mate. So, wow. Did you like AFL or yeah, did I you just it. do it for the no, girls actually, in the crowd? <laughs> 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 no, I actually loved it. Eh? I was, I was um, a ruckman, centre half yep. forward, and I was a full forward. So hey. probably couldn't get the kick straight, but... <laughs> 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 but I can catch a ball. Yeah, that's yeah, it, mate. Yeah, solid, solid. Um, but the pathways here in Melbourne are a lot clearer than it was um, back in the days. Um, when did you guys sort of um, realise that you guys could actually... Go pro um, in, as as a as rugby players. Yeah. Was there a certain point where you guys? Oh, this could be. I could be on here because you played under. Did you both play under twenties, Aussie? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played, played together. Yeah. I was think. It? I think for me, it was back in twenty sixteen when Rob and Shawnee got signed. Yeah. I think there was always like a bit of sense of culture in Victoria that you know they always signed guys from Sydney and yeah. and Brisbane and it wasn't really a pathway for Victorian boys so yeah. I think for, like for me personally seeing them make it that's probably when I clicked and actually thought you know this is probably a good possibility because I mean at that time the academy was actually going really good too so they started they started doing academies and, yeah. and it's just it's just gone from leaps and bounds now like the yeah. academy is sponsored by Shaw and Partners now which is big yeah. um, finance company so I think um, you know where it was maybe six seven years ago it's, it's gone yeah. so much better now but yeah when those those boys are uh, you know catapulted Victorian rugby um, and you know it makes every other kid dream to be where they yeah. were you know yeah and when you guys got that opportunity to like when you found out <coughs> oh, full time contracts on on the table here how, how was it what was your reaction like do you remember that moment you're like oh fuck I'm the man now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, mine was probably most recent. And my first contract was given to me in 2018, so the end yeah. of 2017. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I still remember when I first got my first chance, my first contract from Baden. I was probably like sitting at, I don't know, one, 145 plus kilos. Yeah. And I yeah. was just, you know, I think everything was in, in front of me. So like, yeah. just proud to like you know make my family proud and yeah. Yeah. be able to call this a job is um you know not many people can do it so yeah, yeah. definitely bro. um yeah just just grateful like I was grateful as for yeah. that opportunity but obviously I thought everything was there and like at that time mm. I had everything but obviously not so yeah. there was more to it and you know to, to be where we are now yeah we can see it all yeah yeah and so after you Remember the moment? Yeah, no, I've, yeah, did you I cry remember, or? yeah, I, cry, I actually did. Yeah, I would have cried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for must, the call. Must, I be got nice. it, yeah. must be nice. Nah, I didn't <laughs> even. I'm I didn't still waiting for my call. <laughs> <laughs> still waiting for. Me. I did. Eh? I was talking to my brothers and my my tour day. As Bonnie said, you know, as Pacific mm. Islanders, we always yeah. you know try and make our family proud. And nah, I remember I was yeah, I actually cried. Yeah. And I was like, man, in disbelief, eh? Yeah. Like, it was so awesome. I didn't even care. Like, I didn't even look at numbers. It's like, I reckon, I, I, was, I knew it was like real small. Yeah. But like, just to be part of like a yeah, full yeah, trial, yeah, like, you know, I didn't even care. Eh? But now, but now it's <laughs> I looked at the way small. Small look on to But yeah, like, I didn't even care. I was like, oh yeah. man, this is like a dream come true. Yeah. 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 So that feeling was pretty awesome. Do you, do you remember what the first thing you bought with yeah. your first paycheck? The first thing that you bought? Yeah. What was yours? <laughs> like, mine was just a transaction from me to my mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 so um, on on parents, uh, what was their role, or were there other people as well? Like, just wanted this opportunity to shout out like coaches, and junior, who kind of helped you along the way, or stay on that path, yeah. rather than you know being a few gangs on the streets and stuff like yeah. that. Anyone shout out in particular? Yeah, I, I got heaps. Eh, um, I was be coached by this lady called Mo. Yeah. Mm. Her name is Mo, uh, Mo Antonio. She's uh, she was my first rugby coach. Uh, back when I was in New Zealand, yeah, uh, she really like helped me love the game and stuff like that. So yeah. she was like a huge part, especially my my parents as well. Yeah, my brothers, are, like, you know, as um as you know, like takes a village to you know bring the yeah. kid up. You know, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. No, nah, honest, I'll say yeah. No, nah, I think Moana's um her Mo, she's uh, yeah, she's probably been number one. Eh, nice man. What about you, bro? Yeah, I had a few coaches down at Marab and um. <sighs> Yeah, forgot their names, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Just nah, too bad, too bad. Uh, if you're out there in Marvin, uh, they yeah. know who they are. Yeah, yeah. You know who you are. I'll, I'll, I'll um, say, the, 
so one of them had a son and I played with him and his name's Siosi Pulefale so shout out to his dad but, um, <laughs> yeah and um, the other one actually was Andrew um, Lefau um, I reckon yeah those those two probably paved the way for my um, rugby and yeah. the first steps <coughs> to that men- that mental side of rugby yeah, so yeah. Nah, shout cool. out to them All right Oh, um, awesome. And last one, just a bit of uh, for the next generator. What's some um, advice for the next generation coming up? Mm. Um, just you know, like obviously, when you think you made it, it's it's only the beginning. Mm. But what are some tips from you guys uh, as pro athletes now um, for them to try and get to that next step and also try and stay stay there as well? Yeah, I think like the most important thing for me was like probably staying focused on you know not not getting ahead of yourself yeah mm. um that was the biggest one for me yeah. um you know i had to learn the hard way obviously and then um the other one is probably you know making the most of your opportunities that um that you get given so you know once you get given them you know they can get taken off you pretty yeah. easy so um you know just enjoying your time with people um enjoying you know your relationships with um coaches um you know you whether or not that's you know your physios and whatnot you know having yeah. having that good relationship with people like really helps you um you know get into that next level of your career so yeah probably so, be the one advice man. that's good yeah that's good. i like that's that one, one, yeah. good one it's hard it's hard to be that one mate. yeah, yeah. So i completely Sweet. agree yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. any advice man <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, probably yeah no it's good yeah i think just uh i mean what i miss most about you know, growing up playing rugby is just having fun, eh? Yeah. yeah. You know, you take away, you know, the media aspect of things and the crowd and performance. Just enjoying rugby, man. Like, yeah. you know, why you started playing the sport and just yeah. loving it, eh? Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, as Bonnie says, stay grounded. Yeah. Um, you know, just appreciate every moment you get. Yeah. yeah. Have, you found, so. have you found the media? Are there certain, like, articles that you've seen in, like, someone's trying to be a few bots? <laughs> Yeah, like, man. Or do you don't read into yeah. it? When I, when I was younger, like, you know, like, you know, when you like yeah, start yeah. playing pro, you like start Googling yourself. <laughs> yeah, you start, yeah, yeah, when yeah, you start yeah. looking at your Wikipedia and that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, images there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but like now it's like, yeah. I, I, um, I, don't, I don't really like look into media too much. Like, yeah. I think um, mental health is such a Hard. big aspect of life now. Yeah. And um, I, I feel like when I used to do it, like, you'd be some negative stuff and it just eats away at you. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. I think like the mental health space and, and professional sports, like you just probably just don't need those um, extra distractions. So yeah. I, I tend to stay yeah. away from them, eh? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, regardless, I yeah. I actually have like this cool story of like what happened in 2020 against me and Nala. Um, mm. Like, because this gave me the biggest head noise, eh? Yeah. I was like... Um, reading into the pregame and like what uh, rugby.com was sh- like sharing about me versus Nala and whatnot yeah. oh, and yeah. I had I had yeah. no we didn't even know each other oh, yeah. like yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. Nala Nala didn't know me yeah and then um, you know obviously went into that game and I probably played not I wouldn't say the worst game but you know that obviously carried into the game yeah, like yeah. Uh, me reading into that so and the like, commentators were yeah, on. You could yeah, yeah, yeah exactly 100%. That, yeah. and that was at Suncorp like that was uh, yeah. like I went into that game just like before that I was just, like in the change room stuck on my phone you know like yeah. just <sighs> looking at all that media stuff yeah, and yeah. then yeah. man post game came off the field far out man just unfollowed every like yeah. unfollowed rugby.com yeah. unfollowed yeah. wallabies like not even following any like any yeah. more like social pages so yeah. Yeah. unfollowed you guys, as well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. to get yeah. 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 that guy for dumping me yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no that's awesome and you know what the cool thing about this is it's the fact that we get to have that you know that little sense of wisdom and insight of what, yeah. what it means to be a professional athlete but um in, in saying that we've got a two quick questions that we want to ask um, only because we're going to go for time but uh, one of the quick questions that we wanted to ask both of you is rapid fire is uh, which which part or which which player on your team has the best banter oh, can't go past but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah that guy yeah. is a character in a half <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, do, you, do, you, do you remember any any shit chat that he's thrown oh. he's thrown too many <laughs> 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 probably can't say it on here maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, man, but uh, man. yeah, nah, he's uh, he's uh, he's so funny, man. Like captain, he's yeah. so, like yeah, such, yeah. A, such a crack up dude. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. And last question: Who is the biggest sook on the team, oh. and why? Bonnie. Nah, nah. Yeah, who's who's always complaining? Who's yeah. that? Who's that guy? Nah, who's always getting out of fitness? 
Yeah. This guy here. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Oh, this, guy goes, this guy goes the whole session, then at the end of the session, he'd be like, oh, so cuff. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, oh, so calm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you got to play ahead for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So guy, mate. And then yeah. come game day, he's running into you. I put your engine now. Oh, sweet, sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'll, add, I'll add one more. Um, yeah. We'll add this to the real. Um, who's a teammate you you wouldn't let uh, date your daughter? Oh, oh, son, oh, oh son. Drink, drink, Josh drink. Cannon, mate. Oh, oh sweet. Yeah. Josh Cannon. He's the one guy I wouldn't let date my daughter. Oh, yeah. Why, mate? Yeah, why? No, yeah. Can't say why, mate. It's just, oh, yeah. just trouble. He's trouble. He's trouble. trouble. Yeah, he's trouble. Yeah. He's, he's actually not. He's not Balangi, that guy. He's, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's one of the boys. boys eh? He's yeah, one of the boys. Wait, wait, bro, bro. Don't throw man. us under the bus. Like, yeah, 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 we're good yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. We're he's a poly, man. What are you trying to say, mate? Yeah, he's a poly baddie. That's a thing. Yeah. 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 All right, boys. All right, boys. Appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you. Right. Right. Good appreciate luck for the boys. season and Wallaby. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.